food and football players. For some reason, in the era of digital society, when we can easily see how big clubs deal with their daily operations from the inside, the area of the player's nutrition remains quite closed. And sometimes it gives rise to ridiculous rumors. Is the diet of a footballer strict? Yes, of course. But is it stricter than that of a marathon runner preparing for the Olympic Games? Subscribe to Football Geeks and let's geek it out! First of all, let us remind you one thing. Football players regularly endure serious loads during training sessions and during match days. In terms of energy costs, this is certainly not a marathon running. But in just 90 minutes of a match, a football player can lose about 5 to 8 pounds of weight. During the active phase of the season, the players do not rest regularly, occasionally receiving only one full day off per week. The training process in large clubs is not advertised, but in general, in addition to working on the field, the players spend a lot of time in the gyms and pools. That is, their physical activity is very diverse. It is on the basis of these considerations that the principles of dietary patterns are built. Each player eats in his own individual way. In large clubs, there are many foreign players from different countries with different food cultures. A cook must take into account these features and prepare meals that correspond to specific cuisine characteristics. In addition, clubs are actively using modern technologies. Football players regularly take a blood test, which shows their reaction to certain products and also helps the coaching staff to monitor individual metabolic rates. In the end, all these factors define the final menu, the portions and the frequency of meals. Despite all the efforts of Cristiano Ronaldo to introduce the fashion for steel abdomen, its presence in no way affects your prospects for becoming a professional player. For most players, 10-12% to of subcutaneous fat from the total body mass is considered the healthy norm. Excess weight impedes speed, creates an additional load on the joints and on the spine, and slows down the blood flow. At the same time, the lack of healthy fats affects the overall immunity and provokes the accumulation of fatigue. In general, due to the high energy consumption, the amount of fat consumed by a professional footballer is rather high. As a rule, and all clubs among the banned products will be different types of snacks, sauces, sweet drinks, fried foods and alcohol. Coaching staff may also impose additional restrictions for all players. Among the meat products, in the first place are always beef, chicken, turkey and rabbit. Almost without exceptions, in the diet of every player will be fish. We will not elaborate on the carbohydrates and fruit in this episode, but it is important to note that everything is quite individual and depends on both the personal needs of the player and on the stage of the season. Football players usually eat three hours before the match. This meal is very important, as any mistake can affect the footballer's final performance on the pitch. Complex carbohydrates with a low glycemic index should dominate in the before-game meal. Proteins are either added in small quantities or eliminated altogether. This is done because proteins can cause digestive problems and a player cannot risk it during a match. If you do not believe us, just ask Sergio Ramos. About the same meal awaits the players after the match. Unless, of course, Claudia Ranieri takes you to the pizzeria. Sports medicine physicians and nutritionists prohibit any caffeinated, carbonated and energy drinks for footballers. Alcohol is outside the law. All the mentioned drinks dehydrate the body because they contain a lot of sugar and stimulate the production of urine. Despite being served in nice colorful plastic bottles, the only thing that is allowed to drink during the match and training sessions is ordinary drinking water. As you can see, the diet of professional football players is strict, but rich in terms of the variety of products. If you liked this episode and you would like to know more about the nutrition of the players, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your attention and I will see you soon.